Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Most high, most high, most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is like unto our God. How great, how great, how great is our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. All honor is to you, O King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The songwriter Jermaine Edwards says, I come just now to say, thank you, O King. You're not just a part of my life. You're my everything. Your love reaches way down deep within, passes human understanding, and there will always be a song for you I sing. One word alone just can't express my heart's desire. My gratitude for one more day, my needs you supply. Your warm embrace and tenderness, patience with me through all my mess. Lord, I've come to one conclusion. You are the best. So I say hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah, I will sing, Lord, your great, your almighty. All honor to you, O King. Hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah, we will sing, Lord, your great, your all. Almighty, all honor to you, all to you, everything to you, to you, our King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we greet the Lord. Hallelujah, we greet the Lord. We greet the Lord. We greet the Lord. The Lord who woke us up this morning. The Lord who gives us strength. The Lord who has already made a way where there seemed to be no way. The Lord, our God, our Savior, and our King, our Abba Father, who is like unto our God, who is like unto our Lord, who is like unto our Savior, who is like unto Him who first loved us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We love Him not because of who we are, but because He first loved us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we give him all the praise, all the honor and all the glory. We say good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome into this morning. Welcome into this time. Welcome into this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We take, we give you full com control, full dominion, Holy Spirit. Do what seems right to you because nothing we do, hallelujah, can ever be better than you can never compare to you so holy spirit you are welcomed here come flood this place and fill this atmosphere for your glory O lord is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence hallelujah 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 we give you dominance we give you preeminence we give you hallelujah rulership lordship over every element and aspect of our lives and so we say to you this morning Hallelujah, sincerely as a family, sincerely as a team, sincerely as your children. O eternal Father, O eternal Father, bless us 
bless our family and bless our land guard us with your mighty hand keep us free from every evil power and be our light through countless hours to our leaders O oh great god of the universe great god of all the heavens grant true wisdom from up above let justice and truth be ours not just ours in this family not just ours hallelujah in our various nations but let justice and truth be ours across the world hallelujah in this land in the lands where you have placed us the lands that you love hallelujah teach us true respect for all stir response to duty's call strengthen us the weak to cherish give us vision lest we perish knowledge send us O heavenly father grant true wisdom from above justice and truth be ours forever in this land the land that we love the land that you love hallelujah 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 i want you to just uh, just adapt that this morning and just say lord bless this land that i am placed in bless this land that you love come on prophesy prophesy hallelujah ask the lord to bless the land where you are wherever you are right now that nation that you are in not the state not the county not the parish not hey just bless the land the country hallelujah if you're in america lord bless this land the united states of america eternal father bless this land of america bless this land of jamaica bless this land of canada bless this land because that land needs to be blessed because you are there come on somebody hallelujah your father must bless the land remember Remember, if there were 10 righteous in Sodom, 10 in a nation that was uh, had a pl plethora of wicked, disgusting, unbelievers, murderous, hey, sexually immoral people, God said, if I could find 10, I will bless it. I know that there are more than 10 where you are in that nation. Therefore, because you are there, you make up that number. If you were not there, it would only be nine. Come on. Hallelujah. It would miss the mark. And so come on, people of God. Hallelujah 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 hey so bless declare blessing declare blessing this morning as we pray as we declare as we decree as we touch heaven this morning god wants us to be grateful for the place where we are the place where we sleep the place where we eat the place where we live and move and have our being the place where we work and raise our family therefore we must bless that place bless that land in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a move right now across some nations that are that, that are speaking negativity uh, there are some principalities and powers that are speaking negativity over our nations over our people over our community even oh and by extension over our family if your nation is in disarray come on glory to god there were some people who were living good in 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 um in in ukraine and when 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 the principality and the power started to rain down bombs on them nothing Nothing was good for anyone in that country again nothing even if they were not in the direct fire of those bombs just the thought that bombs were being dropped somewhere in their nation made them terrified made them worried made them fearful they couldn't go about their normal lives again and so I'm saying the nation must be blessed because you are there and so declare my nation is blessed my nation is anointed my nation is ruled by righteous men I speak righteousness into the governmental systems of my nation I speak honesty I speak truth I uproot the spirit of corruption and war. I uproot the spirit of perversion from my governmental system. Ah, my leaders are blessed men and women of God. My leaders are anointed and appointed. My leaders are called from God. My leaders are sent from heaven. My leaders will make only decisions that will be joyful in the, li in the lives of the people and pleasant in the nostril of the Lord. Come on, begin to declare some things over your nation this morning. You have been called to be voices for God. 
Hallelujah. If life and death is in the power of our tongue, if blessings must come from our mouth and not curse, then let's bless our nation this morning. Come on, people of God. Rise up with a, with a holy anger and declare that Satan will no longer take dominion over your nation. We break the, the back of sexual immorality over our nation. We break the back of every kind of social inequality and injustice over our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the back of anything that the enemy wants to impart into our nation, killing our children, uh, distorting and confusing our children. We break the back of that spirit off of our nation this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We break the back of anything that is affecting our communities, uh, the federal elements, uh, the local elements of our nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that have been released to contaminate and destroy from the inside out or from the outside in our nation, we reverse that curse this morning. We declare that the 50 righteous, the 100 righteous, the 200 righteous, the 2,000 righteous, the 5,000, the 7,000, the 10,000, oh God Almighty, that exists within the context of the confines of your nation shall stand and shall push back the enemy. If 300 could do it for Gideon, hallelujah, then 3,000 will more than do it for us. We declare today that every plot, scheme, and trap of the enemy to destroy our nation hallelujah we are not an apple we are not a mango worms will not destroy us we push them back out into the sea from whence they came in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we speak to every systems in our nation we speak to every social fiber of our nation in the mighty name of jesus christ and we declare this morning we have authority we have power we have sovereignty yes by the lord jesus christ of nazareth we are more than conquerors. We're the head and not the tail. The authority is in us. God has given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And every power, every power, every power, every ruler of darkness, every principality, every spiritual wickedness in high places that have set up camp, that have infiltrated and have taken up positions in the various places in our nation, we uproot them by fire this morning. In in the name of Jesus Christ, every gunman spirit, every rape spirit, every contentious spirit, every corrupt spirit. Spirit, we uproot you this morning from our governmental systems and from our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. We uproot every family destroying spirit from our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare our nation is a blessed nation. Our nation is anointed. Our nation is appointed. No more disgusting news from out of our nation. We, we, we curse every satanic news. We curse every satanic report in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bind and cancel every assignment of the enemy against our nation and we declare that our nation will only have good report. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, people of God, begin to declare. Come on. If you do not pray for your nation, who will? If you do not pray for your nation and declare over your nation, who will? Come on, people of God, you begin to declare, declare, declare. If you live there, I don't care. If that nation you don't want to really share, you, 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 you're in process to move somewhere else, you're still right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And though you have cried there, you will not die there. You will live and declare the glory of the Lord over your nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so begin to prophesy. Prophesy over your nation. Come on. The word of God is in you and the spirit of God is in you. Prophesy. I declare and decree that Jamaica shall be a nation that impacts the rest of the world. Jamaica shall be a nation that others will come and see the model of what works here. Jamaica shall be a nation of Christian tourism in the name of Jesus Christ. Christian leaders shall own hotels and shall have the Christian conferences in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree that Jamaica shall not only be known as a Christian country because Christianity is the dominant belief, but Jamaica shall be known as a Christian country because Christianity is the root of the heart of the people and is the life of the people in the name of Jesus Christ. Righteousness, integrity, justice, and truth shall be the portion of this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Corruption shall be a thing of the past 
in this nation. Come on, I'm giving you an example of how to declare over your nation. God wants us to be grateful for the nation where we are born. And if we speak to the nation, we speak to the people. And if we speak to the people, come on, hallelujah, we speak to souls. And if we speak to souls, God will be able to take control by his Holy Spirit. If the nation is going good, hallelujah, God will have a hand in it. Miraculous de decree and de declaration over your nation this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, we thank you for the power to transform nations. God, in, in, when Egypt was out of control, when they were controlling your nation, your people, but they were out of control in the way that they were living, and it was time for a shift. Ah, oh, God Almighty, the people cried out and you heard. And because you heard, you answered. This morning we are crying out on behalf of Jamaica. We're crying out on behalf of America, on behalf of England, on behalf of Ukraine, on behalf of Russia. We're crying out on behalf of Canada, on behalf of, of, of Germany, on behalf of all the nations of the world and all the continents of the world. We're crying out, oh God, because corruption and sodomy has moved and infiltrated and has and is destroying the nations from the inside, the very fabric of the existence of these nations. God Almighty and more. Africa, India, hallelujah. Oh God Almighty, the Caribbean, all the Caribbean islands, Father, we pray today that you will infiltrate by fire, infiltrate by your holy angels, bring in the right alignment, O God Almighty. Lord, you have more than enough angels to dispatch to every, every nation, whether they're small or large. Every nation, O God Almighty, like an army invasion, invade the nations of the world, O God, and bring direction, bring correction, and bring even resurrection in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, let the people of this world know, O oh God Almighty, that Jesus Christ of Nazareth died for our sins. He died that we might be redeemed. He died that we might be restored in the name of Jesus. So we pray for the souls of the people of this world in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word says, it is not your will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. We pray this morning as a family for the repentance of the nations, the repentance of God government officials up. The repentance of those who are gathering up wealth for themselves uh, so that they can live lavishly. We pray, O oh God Almighty, that they will repent and return what they stole. Ah, uh, oh God, like Zacchaeus, uh, repent and turn, repent and turn. We speak a spirit of repentance over the nations of the world this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, where, they, where, where politicians uh, have stuffed their pockets and their bank accounts, uh, have stolen from the nation, uh, have caused the nation to be in poverty, especially in nations like Africa and Haiti and even Jamaica. Father God, we reverse every curse that have been released upon us through theft and corruption in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, through witchcraft, hallelujah, voodoo, samgoma, all kinds of chants and declare and decree. God Almighty, every spirit that was released upon the Jamaican governmental system through capo and every other kind of, 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 of spiritual chants and decree. We reverse that curse by the authority that is ultimate, by the authority that is sovereign. We reverse every curse spoken against this nation in the name of Jesus. We reverse every curse declared and decreed over Haiti in the name of Jesus. We reverse every curse declared and decreed over Africa in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We reverse every curse that has been holding down nations that were supposed to be up. God Almighty, we travail for the nation of the world this morning. We travail for the people of the world this morning and we say, Lord Jesus, your blood was not shed in vain. Your blood was not shed for people to continue to feel pain. Your blood was not shed for Satan to control their brain. And so, Lord God Almighty, let it rain today. Let it rain. Let it rain transformation. Let it rain anointing. Let it rain fire. Let it rain fire. Let it rain fire. Let it rain fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, rain upon your people in the, where, in the world this morning. In the name of Jesus, this is our cry to you today. We're crying for the nations of the world. We're crying out for the nations of the world. And we say, God Almighty, 
cover them under your wings bless them oh god almighty open doors for them that they might see and be able to make the right decision in the name of jesus christ of nazareth bless the nations in south america god you see the struggles you see the issues you see the situations bless the nations in particular in africa god there is just so much going on that is confusing god everyone is just uh, trying to see how they can get ahead personally but god no one is trying to build a nation itself and so father only you can do what only you can do what is right in the sight hallelujah in your own sight bless them oh god cover them under your wings hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you lord hi god Woo. <laughs> guys i'm praying like whoa for the nations and the phone just jumps out of the stand and falls to the ground hallelujah hey let me tell you satan doesn't realize but we get excited when we touch his corn and he jumps up and starts to react come on hallelujah he cannot discourage us because we know our god is awesome our god is true the lord led me to intercede for nations this morning and satan was trying to see how best he could he could disrupt it but he can't disrupt it because hey god hallelujah god is set in in in, in this hey god hallelujah <laughs> Oh God, her sister Sean Chana say, powerful prayer, the phone up, praise God, hallelujah, yes, the phone jumping up and saying, hallelujah, hallelujah, come on guys, we have to recognize that if we pray, if, 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 if we have a church home that we go to and we pray for God to bless that church home, to bless the pastor, bless the leaders, keep them in, in, in righteousness, holiness and truth, keep them in, in, in the right way of thinking and right way of living, bless the congregants, bless the people that they will have a heart of love that they will welcome others and invite others and expand the kingdom that will make an awesome church home for 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 for, for you to be a part of a family for you to be a part of and so as we are praying and asking god to make us to perfect us to bring out himself in us we have to pray for others to be like that too because if we are embedded in a sea of pharisee then we will have to spend most of our time on our knee making a plea that god will protect ye hey come on glory to god and so we must pray if we pray ask god yes lord deliver me from every evil concupiscence deliver me oh god almighty from everything that wants to to to, to, to stymie or to hold down my anointing deliver me oh god from every plot scheme and trap of the enemy deliver my family yes that's all good and you should pray that but i'm telling you guys we have to pray for the places for the community we have to pray for the place that we live you don't want to live in a very nice house with all the very the amenities that are beautiful full and amazing and around you to the back to the front to the side everyone is falling apart everyone is hungry everyone is 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 is, is poor broke busted and disgusted but you are good you are not going to be comfortable for long and so i'm saying to you you have to understand the mindset if you pray for everyone around you to be blessed and highly favored if you pray for everyone around you to have a heart after god if you pray for everyone around you to be successful then you will enjoy the blessings of god even more amen hallelujah and so that's the, the formula that God wants us to realize as children of God we've been praying and asking God to bless us to bless us Lord bless us indeed enlarge our borders enlarge our territories bless us let heaven open and the windows of heaven pour out blessings that we do not have room enough to receive let blessings come that make rich and add no sorrow and that's fine nothing is wrong with that but you got to pray that same prayer for your neighbors you got to pray that same prayer for your nation because if your nation listen it makes no sense for you to be a multi-billionaire in Haiti when the country is being destroyed from the very fabric from the very inside out nothing good is available people you have to be, be, be going around afraid though you have what it means to live well you, you the, the criminals you're always afraid of criminals so so pray that God will bless you but pray that he will bless others as well so that others doesn't see your blessing as a draw 
to come and steal it or to come and destroy you for it but as a reason to say yes god is truly moving as he's moving for me he's moving for you in the name of jesus christ god wants us not to be selfish in this season and so lord as you bless this household as you bless this family as you bless us lord jesus christ of nazareth bless every member of this fourth watch family bless every member of their extended family bless the community that they live in oh god almighty let it flourish let it be like a, a harvest time in the name of jesus christ bless the nations that they live in that those nations will not seek to go to war but will seek even from afar to demonstrate that they are your star that they will be a light oh god almighty that others will follow hallelujah and declare and decree in the name of jesus christ we thank you this morning oh gracious god for your blessings upon your people father i lift up before you this morning hallelujah marriages marriages are under attack under attack under attack in the name of jesus especially leaders especially those oh god almighty who have been uh, pushing the whole sanctity of marriage and the whole uh, idea of marriage our oh, god almighty their marriage has started to come under attack especially over the last few days but i declare and decree that no attack against your marriage even in your mind our oh, god shall come to pass shall come to fruition i reverse every dream curse against your marriage every attack against your marriage in your dreams every attack against your marriage in your mind every attack against your marriage from external and internal I reverse that and set fire to it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that my marriage is strong your marriage is strong our marriages are strong a mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold that comes against us I declare that in this season more people shall be impressed sing people shall be impressed by the marriages and the example of marriages that they see in us and through us and they shall desire to be married too and they shall give uh, shall gain and receive that desire come to pass but I declare that our marriages are being raised up to another level now I declare that power is being manifested in our marriages now in the name of Jesus Christ I set a hedge of fire by the Holy Spirit around our marriages now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that when the enemy comes, hallelujah, one way, he will flee seven ways from trying to attack our marriages in the name of Jesus. He will break the dam and send water, but it shall not overtake us. We shall cause it to part and go around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus is our strong tower. The strong tower over our marriage is the one who says marriage is honorable on the bed undefiled. I declare that your marriage is solid, rooted, grounded in righteousness holiness and truth i declare that your marriage will produce uh, love power and self-control i declare that your children shall see and admire your marital union and shall desire to, fought, to walk in your footsteps. They will follow you as you follow a Christ-like example of marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare and decree that there shall be a male and a female marriage that's an example in your bloodline. And your bloodline shall carry, hallelujah, 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 uh, uh, the generational blessing uh, of marriage in your, in your bloodline. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nazareth, I declare hallelujah and decree that your marriage is safe in the arms of the Lord today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus father this morning hallelujah on this day of prayer I declare your blessing over your people I declare favor over their children even now I pray for the children that are represented in this family this morning I pray favor 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 with jobs favor with school favor with scholarships favor with school fees in the mighty name of Jesus Christ favor with academic excellence Lord God Almighty visit every member of this family this morning today in the name of Jesus Christ and as they begin the school year as they start back in school father I pray as I pray for my own son as I pray for the spirit of excellence the spirit of good behavior the spirit of, 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 of understanding and wisdom and counsel and might and power and dominion over over everything that they face uh, my son faces at school so I declare for every member of this family I declare that if you have children in school whether it's university 
hallelujah or prep school basic school i declare excellence 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ whatever your children are studying even if it's a professional course not according to the regular school system they're doing a uh, uh, various um, ACCA level this and level that and, and, and um, coaching courses or any of those things I don't care what they're studying I release excellence upon your children and upon your children children I declare that your children shall begin to have a desire if they were not very school oriented or training oriented or, or skill training oriented I declare that your children shall begin to be stimulated to, to do something positive and productive I declare that if your sons are at home and not doing anything productive I remove that unproductive spirit from them now and release them into excellence release them into going and doing something with their hands with their mind with their bodies and with their souls that is productive and progressive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ no spirit of worthlessness shall come upon your children no spirit of slumber no spirit of no work no spirit of laziness no spirit of depression I uproot all of that from your children and from your children's children especially your sons in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I rip off the crown of Satan off of your son's heads I rip off the gar the garment of Lucifer off of your sons in the name of Jesus the spirit of masturbation the spirit of lust the spirit of pride the spirit of fear I rip off I rip off I rip off hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I declare that our sons shall arise and their enemies will scatter our sons shall stand strong and be counted our sons shall be kings and priests today as of today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our sons shall arise and be and be exciting and 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 um, and, 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 and luscious in the eyes of those who are to be their future brides in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare that our sons shall be examples for this generation and the generations to come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that every assignment of the enemy against our daughters to turn them into into quote unquote prostitutes uh, not prostitutes that sell on the street necessarily but prostitutes where they're selling themselves uh, to, 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 to be able to, to, to get grades to be able to get uh, the light and rent and water rate paid I, I cancel every prostitute spirit I cancel every spirit of settling every spirit of just uh, compromise to, to, to get just to have a to be in a relationship they compromise with men that are not yet prepared men that are not yet proper men that are not according to the standard that their parents brought them up in I declare every spirit of settling that wants to come upon our daughters I curse it I cancel it I destroy it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our daughters must have a standard that is high a standard that is God centered a standard that will make their parents say yes hallelujah because God is faithful and when we stand for righteousness holiness and truth God will send that man that Boaz that fits that that purpose for your daughter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and so declare it with me this morning my daughter shall marry a champion of God my daughter shall marry a mighty man of valor my daughter shall find her boas like Ruth found hers my daughter shall marry a man that is of substance a mighty man that will provide as a king and pray over as a priest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ come on if you have a daughter this morning hallelujah and even if your daughter is already married declare that her husband is a Boaz her husband is a priest her husband is a king her reverse every curse if if already there is a, 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 a there's a situation that needs attention you can reverse it in the name of Jesus God is not just one that brings a good package he can make a bad package into a good package is there anything too hard for our God come on people of God I know some of you have been complaining and quarreling and, and, and in your heart being distressed because you don't like the, the, the journey that your children or your child is going down you see and you know and sometimes your children are going well but you don't see other children going well like them and they have to mix with them come on you got to pray that the, the Lord will bring the right children the right sons the right young men the right teenagers the right young adults into the pathway of your children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and 
so come on women of god men of god you got to pray that the other young girls around your daughters are are, are right and straight and have good report good mental ability good spiritual and and, and, and fo spiritual foundation in the mighty name of jesus christ that the influence that truly iron can sharpen iron in the name of jesus christ the, Pray that no 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 demonic influence comes to draw away your daughter. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I was talking to a woman of God recently and she said her son borrowed her phone to to, to um to do some research for school. Her young son. Hallelujah. And as he was doing that research, there was a pop-up of something on there. A, 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 some a, a pop-up. Uh, you know what those pop-ups are that just come up, commercials that come up. And this one was one that was of a, a sexual orientation. And it 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 it, it inspired him because there's a demon associated with these things and so the demon as soon as it pops up and it recognizes that is a child uh, or anyone for that matter but especially a child it just begins to like a serpent like a, a, a rattlesnake come on like a python it just goes to the screen as fast as, as as faster than the eyes can see and it just grabs him to his eyes to his brain and he becomes stimulated and it starts to send the venom come on like a vaccine like an injection that you get it sends the venom hallelujah through the body of this little child and this this boy just becomes hooked he start to seek out and start to try to find hallelujah this 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 sight and the things associated with the sight and the next thing you know he's hooked on pornography and so many of our young boys and young girls are being captured are being uh, uh, connected by the serpent that is coming through the phones coming through the tablets coming through like a serpent you see how fast my hand is moving that's how fast as soon as it comes up it is not waiting you don't have to spend time looking at it and penetrating it and just dissecting it you don't have to do that anymore this serpent comes and he bites you on the nose and he bites you in the eyes and he bites you in the ears and he just go and and you move it you exit out but it's already connected to you and so we got to pray that every venom every venom every venom of masturbation every venom of homosexuality every venom hallelujah that has infiltrated and has taken over our children and our our, our sons and daughters we uproot we send the the, the the concoction of heaven come on we send the antidote of heaven into the shoulders into the buttocks of our children we inject them hallelujah with the antidote of heaven in the name of of Jesus Christ and we reverse every curse that was placed upon our children without their choice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ listen if your children if your family members have made a, a, a conscious choice to go in a particular direction that's hey that's on them God gives us free will to make choices whether it's your children I know it will hurt you but if it's the if it's their choice that's fine but I'm against when they force it on us when they bring these things through the television through the, the, the cell phones through the tablets through the computers when they try to serpent attack and and, and, and steal our children and steal our own hearts with these things come on hallelujah that serpent of 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 um of poverty that is come to shopping come here come on hallelujah these ads that come up and they stimulate you i have been i have been bitten by that serpent so many times i've had to pray and ask god to deliver me because the serpent that comes up hallelujah sometimes on facebook sometimes on different things you're watching and it comes up and show you things that look so nice and you say wow i need to have one of that and 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 you, you spend good money to order it and then when it comes it's not what you wanted and you can't be bothered to try and get back your money uh, or it's an inferior compared to what you see that's a serpent as well that stings you and, and and robs you of your money so come on it's not just the thing that seems to be on the surface that are, are, are tied to sexual immorality and these things that the devil is out to get us in every way shape and form come on glory to god but jesus christ is lord jesus christ of nazareth is lord and so we shut down we shut down we shut down every sight that wants to steal our soul every sight that wants to steal our monies every sight that wants to steal our children we shut them down
now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We shut down every institution that have been set up to destroy people's lives in the name of Jesus Christ. You have some lending institutions. Hallelujah some lending institutions i don't know about any other country but there are some le some lending institutions in jamaica that are designed specifically by lucifer himself uh, designed not just to, to facilitate a process and to have a business model that makes money i have no problem with a business model that is solid that is sound that is is is, is uh, uh, more towards the company to make money i have no issue with that but when you have a business model that is designed to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That means your business model has been given to you by Lucifer. And there are some companies that have, have Luciferian business models that are operating in Jamaica. And this morning, I am declaring a shutdown. I am declaring a shutdown. Angels of the Most High God, you know those. I'm not going to call any names, but you know them. Some lending agencies that they will lend you money and they will make sure that you, the, 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 the system is, is set up to, to, to try and wait until you almost pay back all the money and then they come back for what it is that you have bought and take it or they, they give astronomical interest and, and some fine print things that you don't even notice designed specifically to destroy you designed specifically to make sure that you never make it only Satan wants you never to make it only Satan wants you never to be be your best and some of these companies are designed and are operating Rating specifically to ensure that you never prosper that you never become your best but they draw you in trying to make you think that they are helping you but they are really helping you to your grave I shut them down now holy angels of the living God ministering spirits hallelujah you know some of these companies you know them you know where they are we shut them down now any christians working there we move them to another job and we shut them down they are evil they are set up by lucifer to destroy people's lives to destroy families and we uproot we uproot them we uproot them from our society and we say change your business practice or face closure in the mighty name of jesus christ offer a service run as a company that offers something to the customers and something for you make astronomical profits if you need to i don't care that's that's what business is supposed to do but if your business is in destroying people and taking every their livelihood and just leaving them for dead that's not a godlike business practice and i destroy you in the realm of the spirit i destroy you in the realm of the spirit it is time that somebody stand up to these demons it is time that someone a group a family stand up to these wickedness and reverse them reverse them god says he has given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and power over all the power of the enemy all that the enemy is doing hallelujah must be reversed by us if we don't do it no one else can and so angels of god mighty power of god move through epla as they open their doors this morning angels must be there canceling their contracts wiping them out causing them oh god almighty to recognize that they have one chance to turn around their business model and begin to operate like a normal business or face closure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those, oh God, that are run by societies and persons who have made altars to Lucifer in their business. Father, let your angels carry mighty chains and lock them as of today. Lock them as of today. No more business in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything. That has been set up as an altar to Baal, an altar to Lucifer, an altar, hallelujah, to witchcraft. We chain those doors with your holy angels' hands this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Shut them down. Shut them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Guys, I'm telling you, it's time we as Christians become more involved, interactive in the things that are happening in the world. People are committing suicide because we are missing 
people are becoming depressed and demoralized and discouraged because we who are supposed to carry the spirit of God, we who are supposed to have the answer to what ails them, we are missing because we ourselves are carrying burdens that we shouldn't be carrying. Our backs are bent over with the cares of the world. Our backs are bent over with the bills. Come on, hallelujah, with the light bill, the water rate, the mortgage or the rent or the car notes or the car payments. Come on, hallelujah, the loans that we have taken. Our, our backs are bent over with the struggles of the children that we have and the cupboards being empty. Our backs are bent over with our own issues. But our God says we must seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all will be added unto us. Let us lift up our heads, throw off the burden and say, Lord, my burden is your burden now and your burden is mine. What is God's burden? Interceding for the disrespect and the dishonor that Satan is dishing out on the people of this world. That's the first kingdom that we must seek. And when we begin to impact the people of this world, the people of your nation, the people of your community, the people in your family, and they begin begin to give God praise. God says, I will bless you, my daughter. I will bless you, my son, beyond what you could ask, think, or imagine. I have been preaching this for the last three years now, and we must get it. Come on. We have to stop thinking that it's about us, that our prayer life, our prayer time is about ourselves and our family. Our prayer life and our prayer time must be about our nation, must be about our community, must be about souls. Come on. Glory to God. Because if God answers those prayers and deal with those things, automatically, hallelujah, life will change for us. Things will become better for us. If you are living in a, in a great economy, economy chances are you will benefit from that great economy but if you are blessed and highly favored but you're in a bad economy you will have difficulties come on glory to god amen hallelujah and so we must be conscious of what god's heart is towards uh the the the, the, the society and the people hallelujah and the nation and we must stick with what god wants and pursue what god wants and pray about what god wants so that he can liberally bless us beyond measure in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 what a mighty god what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve hallelujah i declare you blessed this week i declare that this week is a week of power a week of grace, a week of mercy. Hallelujah. I declare that this week is a week of prophetic declarations over your life, over your finances. I declare that everything that has been held up for you is prospering in this season. Hallelujah. In this week, new good news. <clears throat> good news, good news, good news. I, I prophesy good news for you this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that this week, hallelujah, God's voice you shall hear as God speak. I declare that this week, hallelujah, you shall not be weak but strong. You shall be the head and not the tail. This week, you shall walk in overflow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week, breakthroughs shall come concerning what you are desiring to see breakthroughs in in the mighty name of jesus christ i prophesy breakthrough for you this week breakthroughs anything that is held up any documentation anything that you should have gotten weeks ago i declare this week it shall come i pull it from that from from the place where it was into the place of now in the mighty name of jesus christ i pull it i pull it i pull it angels of god angels of god that have been assigned uh, ministering spirits that have been assigned by heaven to do work for your people I, I i ask you this morning in the name of the lord jesus christ pull those documents pull those documents pull those papers pull those things that needs to be released hallelujah some people, they, they, they have monies that are outstanding, hallelujah, that should have been released to them long time, hallelujah, two years even, three years even, five years even, ten years even. We command those monies that have been held up to come to be released now in the name of Jesus Christ. Wire transfers, money transfers, come on, into the accounts of God's people this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare open heavens, open heavens, open heavens over your life, over your family, over the work of your hands, over your business in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
it. I declare open heavens over everything that concerns you. If you are hearing my voice right now, I declare open heavens of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you have been a blessing to others, as you have given even this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare that the open heavens, open heavens of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow is being poured upon you right now, now, now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the year of your harvest, your harvest, your harvest, your harvest, your harvest. This is the month of your harvest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you're having any kind of immigration issues, any immigration issues, I speak to immigration issues right now and I command it to be cancelled. Those that have been waiting, hallelujah, on a date to get an immigration appointment or an interview or, or a visa appointment, I release that now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release that now in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are going to the embassy to get visas. I release that visa to you now in the name of Jesus. Do not be nervous. Do not be fearful. Just go and stand because favor has already gone before you. Angels are already standing at the shoulder of the, of the officer. Hallelujah. And you have been approved in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, those of you who are going for business loans, you're starting a business and you're scheduled to go for an interview this week to get that loan, to start that business. Uh, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Call it done. Call it done. Call it done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who are going on job interviews this week, come on, if you're hearing me and you're a part of God's family, if you are hearing me and you're a part of God's family. Believe it and receive it. You have a job interview. Hallelujah. This week, I call it done. As long that as long as God's will for that job, I call it done. It is done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You've been sending out resumes and you have not heard any call back yet. Are you saying, God, where is my call back? Why have I not heard from any of those? I command a call back this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joan Morris said her son has been waiting a long time for an interview interview date. I command that interview date to be this week. I'm not asking for this month. I'm asking this week. Angels of God, Joan Morris's son, you know him. You know where to find him. You know where he has applied to and you know what God would want him to do. I declare and decree and I command by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Ghost uh, an interview date to be confirmed for this week and that he will get that job in the mighty the name of Jesus Christ today come on glory to God hallelujah hallelujah we have to start listen what do we have to lose God says we have authority and power we have been afraid we have been been been, been apprehensive we have been even slothful slothful in a lot of instances come on with the power that God has given us what do we have to lose if my life is the same today as it was yesterday after I declare and decree and stand on God's word, what did I lose? Nothing. I'm still the same. But if I declare and decree in belief of God's word and my life shift to better and the people around me, the people in my family shift, their lives shift for better, then I would have gained. And so we have nothing to lose by believing God. I'm saying this to you right into your spirit. We have nothing to lose from believing God and declaring God's word, declaring God's promises. We have nothing to lose. We already seem like we're in Lodibar. We're already in that cave where great warriors are, but great warriors in a cave are of no value to the society. Mighty warriors, mighty powerful men and women of God locked in a cave or locked in prison or locked in their room or locked in their prayer closet and not coming out is of no value to society. Come on. And so we must recognize that the world is waiting on us. The world is waiting on us. The world is waiting on you, Rush Fergie. Joan King, the world is waiting on you, Arlene. Marlon, the world is waiting on you. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world is waiting on you. One person on TikTok says, Islam is the only way. Hey, <laughs> Jesus. If that's your way, my brother or, or sister, whoever you are, walk in it. 
walk in it. I'm not going to curse you or try to debate you. If that's your way, walk in it. We are on a journey. We believe that the way that we are going is the right way, the powerful way, and we will go that way. We are going the way of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and that's the way that we will... <laughs> no, Malan, no, Malan, Malan. <laughs> listen, as long as the journey is going in a direction, there are people, listen, there was a time when I was on a journey that I thought was the way, was the only way. Girls and party and clubbing and um, functions and all these nice things. I was on that journey and there were Christians that were looking on and, and, and saying, son, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. But as long as I was going, there was an opportunity for me to change lanes. Come on. Hallelujah. So the, 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 the man of God says Islam is the only way. That means he's going somewhere. Amen. That means just like how Jesus was able to reach me. Come on. To, sh to, to let me have appreciation for his blood and to jump onto his uh, onto his way, then 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 this gentleman can still find his way. So we're not uh, we're not cursing anybody. We're loving upon everybody that is going somewhere. As long as they're going, God can take them onto the right journey. Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord, and I had to learn that because there was a time when I used to be incensed by differences of opinion. I used to be incensed by even opinions in church that didn't sit well with my spirit. But I had to mature and grow and learn that, listen, you don't fight against things that Satan does. You just work the superior power to bring change. Amen? We have superior power, people of God. We have superior power, superior power. But because people are not seeing that power, you know, more people have turned, have changed from, um, from, from, from other religions to Christianity than from Christianity to other religions. Once you have met Jesus and you recognize his power, his anointing, his grace, his mercy, his love, his sacrifice, you can't switch to anything else because everything else is inferior. Come on, glory to God. There is no backslider in the universe that truly met Jesus. If you met him, you'll never be able to let him go. Hallelujah. So, so, so persons who are in other religions and other systems and are on other journeys, don't curse them, don't, don't, don't despise them. Just know that they have not met Jesus. And when they do, if you can introduce him to them through prayer, through life, through love, through power, through self-control, then they will come to know that man from Galilee, for he has done so very much for me. He has taken all my sins and he has given me the Holy Ghost within. So I love that man, that man from Galilee. If we have ever met him, hallelujah, glory to God, we will love our enemies. We will love those who are misguided, those who are called by Baal. We will still love them. And demonstrate Jesus' love to them in healing and deliverance, word of truth, that they will come and start to bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. So, my, my, my brother, we love you. You say Islam is the way, continue to walk that way. But we know that Paul taught, hallelujah, Paul, Saul thought that he was on the right way, going about the path, and Jesus met him on the road to Damascus. And the rest is history. So keep on your road. Because we know, we pray that Jesus will meet you like he met Saul. And you will become a mighty champion for the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Bless God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we love you. Brother, we love you. We love you. We pray that you will prosper, that you will live long. And that you will come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That you will know that the only way is the way of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. And there is no changing that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. So we want to get into some word this morning. Hallelujah. We want to get into some word. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're still in Romans chapter 1. We've been trying to, <laughs> the truth of the way. Yes, yes, the truth, the way, and the life. That's right. Hallelujah. But you see, guys, let me just say this quickly. Um, we have been trying to force people to accept the way, the truth, and the life. We've been using words to tell them, and they have words as well. They have words. We've been trying to get persons from different denominations, denominations within the Christian faith, to, to, to come to a place of understanding truly what God wants for us, but we've just been telling them. In a lot of instances, we're not showing them. People who are worshiping at other altars, come on, can I talk truth to you? People who are worshiping at other altars in your workspace, in your community, in your neighborhood, they don't see a life that draws them to your God. So they're going about their business and they're saying, yes, this, is, this way is the only way. Scientology is the only way. Yoga is the only way. All these things. But what do they see from you? Can I just use you as an example, Sister Ivan, since you're an amazing woman of God who will not be sensitive or, or offended? What, the, 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 what have they seen? The people that are, are, are worshipping at other altars, Sister Yvonne, what have they seen in your life that will make them say, whoa, my God, no man, I need to try this. I need to find out more from her. What is it? And I'm, I'm not saying this, um, guys, for, for anybody to feel bad. I'm saying to you, let's ask God the question. Lord, am I being a light that even others who think they have light will see my life and say, whoa, what's going on here? Why does her life look so different from mine? Why does her words sound so different from mine? Why does her, her, her aura, her atmosphere seem so different from mine? I got to go find out what's going on. Listen to me carefully. The same way you pass a really nice house and you say, wow, that's a nice house. I hope to have a house like that one day. The same way you see a Mercedes or a Porsche or a Ferrari or an Audi or whatever it is that's driving down the road and you say to yourself, oh, I like that car. I'm going to get one one day. Who is looking at our lives and saying, I like that life. I'm going to get one like that one day come on somebody can i speak truth and you not get offended please i'm begging you don't be offended this is not designed to, to to show anything bad to you or to make you feel bad i'm saying me i'm talking about me too is my life drawing people unto god are people seeing my life seeing hearing how i speak seeing how i respond to things that happen to me and say, wow, I wish I could behave like that. I wish I had that peace. Look at how they're telling lies on her. Look at what they're doing to her. And yet still, she's loving them. She's praying for them. She's saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. How can I do, what can I do, hallelujah, to be like that? That's the character and nature of Jesus Christ. They did all those things to him. And he loved them anyway. They followed him for fish and bread. And he fed them anyway. They followed him. Desire. Trying to find ways to kill him. But he healed them anyway. Can we definitely say. That we are walking the journey. Walking in the shoes. That Christ Jesus left for us to walk in. I know I'm not. But I'm desirous of it. And every day I'm asking God more and more, Lord, make me more like you. Make me more like you. Make me more like you. That others will see my life and come to find out more about you than about me. Our lives must be a drawing card for Jesus. And until we get to that place, we have no talk. Until we get to that place where our lives become a drawing card. Now the drawing card life is a progressive life. Come on. Don't think that overnight like today when you get the revelation. The epiphany. You say wow and tomorrow you are going to be the perfect drawing card. No. It's a process. You have to work through some things. Some things are going to pop up in your life and you're going to say wow that's not a drawing card. That's a deterrent. 
how I responded at work to my boss when he, when, he, when he said, when he accused me of something I didn't do. How I responded to him is not a drawing card to let him know that he needs to come and, and know my Jesus. He's writing me up as disrespectful. No. He says it. Boss, you, 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 I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. And you go and pray. Lord, touch his heart. Touch her heart. Cause a shift. You know that that, that was not me. I didn't do that. I didn't say that. That's not what I did. Change that around. And God will vindicate you. A day or two or three or four or next week, your boss call you back and say, we find out what was happening. I apologize. I'm so sorry. But the way you dealt with my situa the situation with grace, I admire you. I admire you. I admire your peace. I admire your grace. I admire you were in a position where you could have cursed me out. You could have told me. You could have set me straight. Told me I was wrong. But you just dealt with the situation with such grace. How come? And he closed the door and he's there asking you, how come? How come you were in such a position of power, of right, and yet still you dealt with it with such humility? What happened? And then you're able to say, Jesus is the Lord of my life, sir. Ma'am, because of Jesus, I don't fight my own battles. I trust him to fight my battles for me. And he will fight your battle for you too, sir. Ma'am, Jesus is waiting. He loves you so much and he wants to do the same for you. Yes, you have academic excellence and you are brilliant and you have managerial excellence. And that's why you're in this big position of president or vice president. But God wants to make you more than that. But it is first our life, it is first our response, it is first our love, it is first our humility, it is first our sacrifice that will put us in a position to water the altar of Satan with fire, with fire, with fire. Hey, Jesus, come on somebody. So my job, my job is to teach us by the Holy Spirit how to just work and press in at becoming who God wants us to become, that our lives and our words will draw men unto him. Hallelujah. Sister Carol Clemens, we declare God's favor upon you this morning. We declare God's peace, God's love, God's joy. We declare that God will open doors for you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that as today starts the week of, 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 of work, the week of activity, the week of commerce, the week of, of, of interactions. I declare Carol Cummings blessed. I declare that favor is available for you this week in the name of Jesus. Favor in health, favor in finance, favor in your family, favor in your job, favor in your business, favor in all the ideas, creative ideas and witty inventions. I release for you now. I speak to every joint in your body, every bone, every marrow, every sinew, every tissue from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet and I release the blessings of God upon you now in Jesus name amen hallelujah 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 favor favor and as favor spreads through the atmosphere favor is upon each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ but remember guys favor hallelujah is not what we testify about that's one element of it Favor is not what we testify about. Favor is what we demonstrate. Come on, can I say that again? Favor is not what we testify about. Favor is what we demonstrate. When the favor of God is on our lives, we begin to show it through our lives. And that is the first testimony. Can you imagine? Hallelujah. If God blesses you with 100 million US dollars today, and you have to wait until Sunday, seven days from now, to testify about it in church. Hallelujah. Are you going to keep that money in the bank and don't spend a dollar out of it until you have gone to church to testify that God's favor is upon you? No, you're going to start using it immediately. You're going to pay down on a house and you're going to buy some stuff for other people and you're going to do great things and you're going to set up plan and a strategy and you're going to do all these things all these things are going to be done and then part of your testimony is going to be all the things that you did 
this week with what God has blessed you with. And so our lives must be the first reflection of God's favor. Come on, glory to God. Amen. Our life, God's favor of his spirit, God's favor of his love, God's favor of his mercy, God's favor of his grace must be the first testimony that people encounter on our lives so that when we testify from our mouths, our mouth testimony is a reflection of our life testimony. Are you hearing me, somebody? God wants us to live a life that is a testimony of his goodness. That when we speak, people don't say, you're all chat, but no life. It is better for people to say, you're all life and very little chat, than all chat and no life. Amen? Hear me again. It is better for people to say, you are all life and very little chat, than to say, you are all chat and no life. Too many of us as Christians have been all chat. Oh, we know the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. We can quote verse and scripture as if people are so impressed. Wow, how you know the word so well. What kind of brain do you have that allows you to know the Bible so well? But when they see lives, they're not seeing the Bible coming to pass out of the life. That makes no sense. It is better to live the Bible and hardly know the Bible. I mean, verbatim like some people, than to know the Bible and not live the Bible. Christ lived the Bible, but he only spoke the Bible at periodic times. Majority of what he did was live the Bible. The miracles, the signs, the wonders. Look at the amount of time that Jesus preached compared to the times when he interacted and minister to the people. Preaching is important. Please don't get all antsy and say, what pastor are you talking about? Not, don't touch the word. Don't preach the word. No, I'm not saying that. Not saying that at all. But if you look in the Gospels at the life of Jesus, at the life of Jesus, look at even the disciples that followed his footsteps after. How many times did they preach the word compared to when they demonstrated the word? The demonstrations were more than the preaching. The preaching was there. Paul preached all night until one young boy dropped dead out of a window. And he picked him up and he never stopped the meeting and said, all right, um, people are tired now. So he went back and preached again until daylight. So preaching is important. Preaching is valuable. But preaching without reaching is screeching. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is faithful. Come on. And so our lives, we must pray, Lord, teach me your word. Teach me your word. I want to be filled with your word. But I want when I'm filled with that word, that word, hallelujah, will produce power. That word will produce life changing. That word will produce a life in me and through me that others will see and come to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Life draws and word keeps. Mm. Hey, somebody should write that down. Come on, Pastor Marsha. That needs to be a poster. Life draws and words keep. Even in a relationship. Come on, tied to a relationship. Uh, uh, you will see a man or see a woman and they look good, smell good, and that draws you to them. But it is words as in communication, as in what they say and how they say it. And, and even marriages have been known to break up because the woman is saying, he doesn't communicate. I, he doesn't talk to me. There's no communication. So life, who we are, will draw someone to us, but the communication will keep us. Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. And so our lives as Christians will draw people. And then the word of God that we communicate will keep them in the body of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Now, that doesn't mean that word doesn't draw people as well. Of course, words draw. Evangelism is, 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 is an example of that. But I'm saying to you, in our own little sphere, sphere of influence, it's our lives that will draw people to church with us or to have a conversation with us and then the word that will keep them. Amen? That makes sense to us? Praise God. I hope so. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
you see how y'all influence me now to just use up a lot of the other time that I should have been um, in the word but at, at least one verse we want to get in from Romans 1 hallelujah from Romans 1 so at Romans 1 we were at verse 9 verse 6 hallelujah verse 7 we, 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 we did verse 7 I think on Friday hallelujah to all in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints and so this morning God is saying to all of us in Jamaica America hallelujah hallelujah yes Sean words draw us hallelujah but life keeps us and life draws us and words keep us so the two are interchangeable those who are drawn by word our actions our life must be what keep them because there are some men come on sean you're a woman you have heard many men talk nice things that makes you say oh i got to meet him he has nice words but then his actions his life his character his nature is so repulsive it doesn't line up with the words and so you have to run like a thief a lot of you women have experienced that and men have experienced that with women as well the words nice they say all the nice things say all the nice things but then when you check the the, the, the the life itself it is it's 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 a turn off and so if the life is solid the words can build and if the words are solid the life can build and so the two are equally important equally important but they go together one without the other is like a son without a, a daughter without a mother amen difficult difficult still possible but difficult amen so to all in rome who loved by god and called are loved by god and called to be saints that's us god loves us and he has called us to be saints what is a saint one whose life is a reflection of jesus so we're still in the word even what we were just saying a while ago the, a saint is one whose life is a reflection of Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth, a reflection of the word come to life. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we are called to be saints. We are loved by God and called to be saints. We are called to be a reflection of the Lord Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, um, the continuing it says grace and peace to you from god our father the lord jesus christ verse 8 first i thank my god through jesus christ for all of you that's what i'm saying this morning i thank my god through jesus christ for all of you why am i thanking god for all of you i'm thanking god for all of you because you have made a decision to come and be a part of what god is doing I have to thank God for that you have not only come to be a part of what God is doing because there are many who will say they're following God hallelujah but they're not following him according to the way and to the will and to the purpose of God hallelujah amen and so we have to be a uh, uh, resolute steadfast immovable in understanding who we are called to be in God Righteousness, holiness, and truth is the most important element of who we are in God. That's why we are saints. Amen? And so Paul is saying he thanks God for us because we are committed and covenanted to fulfilling the purpose of God in our lives. Amen? Hallelujah. He says, and, and, and watch this now, he says, because your faith is being reported all over the world. What is faith? Each of us have a measure of a measure of faith inside of us. Hallelujah. Each of us have a measure of faith inside of us. And that measure of faith is the basis on which we live and act and do and be. And so even our belief system, even what we believe, even what we receive and act upon is as a result of faith when someone says listen carefully because there are persons who are, are disingenuous and hypocritical 
who will strategically uh, uh, highlight and seek to destroy Christian principles and Christian way of, of, of teaching and thinking and moving forward. But then they, they, they embrace the world's system of thinking and, and, and teaching and moving forward. So, so, so they will say, you believe the Bible because someone told you to believe the Bible. I went to university. I believed the economics book. I believed the, the accounting book. I believed the marketing and sales um, textbooks because someone told me that if I read them and if I believe them, I would become someone. So some disingenuous, hypocritical people who wants to separate what, what from one thing from another, they say, believe the physics lecturer, believe the lecturer that lectures you on, on um, on, on, on chemistry and biology and all these things, but don't believe the lecturer that lectures you on the word of God. Hey! <laughs> Is they, They're the only ones with brain. They're the only ones that have sense. They are Luciferian agents that are designed to divide. The same principle that causes human beings to believe, accept, and act on economics and accounts and marketing and, and biology and chemistry is the same brain and the same process through which we accept, believe, and act on the Bible. And if the Bible was not producing anything, if the Bible was not a word teaching us how to live and how to be, then we would have abandoned it long time. Long time. But because we're seeing the fruit of it, my life has been impacted more from believing the Bible and living the Bible than it has been impacted from believing accounts and, and, and sales and marketing and acting on that. My life has impacted much more from the word of God than from the things that I learned at university. So I don't want anyone to fall victim to these disingenuous hypocrites that come. And I'm sorry, I have to speak truth. It's truth. I'm not, it's not with any malice. I am not in any malice. But there are people who are jumping on the bandwagon of hypocrisy and riding it and trying to discredit God's word, discredit God's people, and saying that we are mindless, um, hopeless zombies listening to other people talk and go ahead. And they are the same listening as mindless zombies listening to these uh, uh, persons who are teaching things that are uh, for the world and they don't even realize they're so blinded they don't even realize that they are just what they are speaking against they are just like brainwashed sheep they say we are brainwashed sheep they are brainwashed sheep too I can name many, many, many people who are motivational speakers in the world, many people who are lecturers and professors in the world that are Satanists and they are preaching from the Satanist um, book and Bible and the Satanist um, uh, doctrine. But it is okay to believe them. It is okay to be brainwashed by them. But it is not okay to be brainwashed or believed by, 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 by the Spirit of God. But well, I can tell you, if you're listening to me today, if you're listening to me this morning, I can tell you that my God, who speaks to me through his word, gives me free will to make a decision to believe him or not. Man does not dictate what I believe. The spirit of God speaks and delivers a word to me and it confirms for power and for anointing and for grace and for mercy. If I don't believe what my lecturers in university tell me, they fail me. If I have a different opinion from what from their from their possible outcomes, from what they require, they fail me and consider me an, a castaway. They kick me out of university and I can never progress. That doesn't happen with the school of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't challenge the Holy Ghost this morning. Don't challenge the Holy Ghost this morning. Yeah, that's right, Sister Yvonne. They even they use principles from the word and don't even know. But we cannot flunk out. We cannot flunk out of God's school, but we can flunk out of Princeton, of Harvard, of MIT, of Purdue, of New York Institute. We can flunk out of those schools, but we cannot flunk out of the University of God. Which one is better? We will be able to stay in the University of God until we graduate. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
and you talk about belief, you talk about brainwash, you talk about hogwash, you talk about complete nonsense, hey, you are the one that's brainwashed. You are the one that completely are off to a whole nother level. Don't challenge the glory of God. Don't challenge the anointing of God. You will lose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. God is a good God. Hallelujah. He has set it up that those who believe him, not man, him. If a man speak, if God speaks through a man, you're not believing the man, you're believing God. When a man speaks on behalf of a man, you're believing a man. Amen. So a man had to study what God made. You see us, our body, a man had to study what God made and then come to conclusions on his own and then teach that conclusion. But as much as man has done well to understand the body and its makeup and have taught it and others are doing well at, 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 at helping to fix it, there are still things that they don't know about it. Why do people still die from cancer? Why do people still die from renal failure? Why do people still die? And if Jesus says, you will not die but live, you cannot die. So you believe man whose education and whose experience is limited as opposed to God who has unlimited resources to offer us. Who is talking nonsense? Who is foolish? Who is brainwashed? Not us. You. Hallelujah. 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 I would rather stick to a God who can heal even when man has come to his limit than to stick to man who has limits. A limitless God is a better one to serve than a limited man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whoo! Somebody troubled my spirit this morning. I, I won't go into to, to who they are, but someone came on TikTok and troubled my spirit. Hallelujah. So I had to set them straight by the spirit of the living God. And we benefit same way in love. Amen? Because I want them to know that this, this, this foolishness that people have, and, and for us to learn as well, because people will, will, will degrade us and, and will um, try to destroy us. But if we depend on the Holy Spirit to defend us, then he will do a marvelous job without disrespecting and without destroying others. And listen, words like, like, like um, disingenuous and hypocrisy are not disrespectful if used from a place of a, a, a good heart. Because hypocrisy is, is, is a word that describes a particular behavior. Disingenuous is a word that describes a particular behavior. So it's not necessarily a heart, but a behavior. Amen? And so don't be afraid to call something out. Jesus called the Pharisees uh, hypocrites. Come on, whitewashed sepulchre. But he didn't, mean, he didn't say it from a mean or an evil place. He said it because he wanted to get their attention to re for them to realize, stop behaving in this way because it is not progressive and productive according to God's will and purpose. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. So we've started the week in power. We've started the week in love. And we've started the week in grace. Um, guys, please remember, Satan is not going to sit on his hands. He is not. We've declared some things. We've prayed for our nation. We've prayed for some stuff. And, 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 and um, the whole host of hell have just come down this morning to try to disrupt and to distract and to delay what God is um, is doing but it cannot it cannot win behold I have given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you amen that doesn't just mean physical hurt it can hurt your ministry can hurt what you're doing it can hurt your devotional time it can't hurt anything it can come but he will not succeed Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Communion time. Communion time. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that your word has gone forth. Your word has touched some persons, oh God Almighty, who on the other side wanted 
to be used to delay, derail, or deny, wanting to be used to cast aspersions and to throw water upon what you are doing. But we thank you that you are firm. Hallelujah. We set our face like flint to believe who you are and what you have said. And so your promises are yea and amen. And we accept that it is well. We believe you and you only in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, O Lord God Almighty. Bless these emblems even now that we're about to eat and drink of, that they may truly represent health and strength, prosperity and good success in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Mm. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup and he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to just say, uh, as the Lord leads, if there is anyone who is hearing this broadcast you have been a part of this broadcast directly or indirectly over a period of time or you just joined today and you you, you like what you hear and you're saying uh, how can i be a part of this family how can i uh, uh, get in touch with this jesus that they're talking about to to change my life how can i make a difference in the way that i have been living uh, for this new year you want to make a new year's resolution of changing or finding the God of all solution. We would love to help you to do that. You can reach us on any of the platforms that we're broadcasting on and linking into. Just send us a message via uh, 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 Instagram or TikTok or, um, or Facebook and just tell us, I would love to serve Jesus and we will contact you and pray with you and, um, and help you to get set up in a Bible-believing church if you're not anywhere close to us and just uh, help you and walk with you as you get to uh, accomplish what God has purposed for your life. And so if you feel that God has been calling you for a little while or you've come in and you like what God is saying and doing and you want to be a part of it, please reach out to us and we will get back in touch with you and uh, connect you to Jesus and then help you to walk with him as you take on this journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for uh, just spending time with us. It's been an awesome morning. We know that your week is now charged up, fired up and ready to go. And you are walking in the fullness of God's goodness. Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day. God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day. His way. In Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you. And we love the world of honor too. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Remember to do something good for someone today. Remember to just be a blessing. Call someone, encourage them, pray for them. Give them a word of encouragement in some way, shape or form. If you see someone who is hungry and you can help, give them a meal or contribution towards a meal. Whatever it is, let us show love because it is the love that we demonstrate that draws men unto God. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. On behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade, I'm Ron Wade saying, hey, hallelujah. You are the S of Spade. Go take on the world and do great things. So, uh, Shanice collected her visa. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. What a good God. We believe God. Hallelujah. We believe God and he delivered. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that testimony. God is faithful. We give him all the glory.
glory. Amen. When we come together as a family and pray, nothing shall be impossible for us. Amen. God bless you guys. Love on a lot. Hallelujah. Blessings. Laura, greetings to Colombia. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless God. Bye, guys.